the problem, and we talked about this, but re uh, refresh everybody's memory. What's the problem if I give a lecture and you're trying to take notes? What, what, no, what problems? You're not listening. Okay. And what, is it, what does that do? Um, distracts us. Why would it distract you? If you're not listening, why is it distracting you? Because we're writing down. You're not listening. Okay, you're not listening, you're not writing down. What if, uh, bless you, what if Ogenis needs something and he missed it? What if Ogenis needs something and he missed it, but he doesn't, I mean, what, and he couldn't hear because somebody was making noise. What, what does he have to do? Ask. Okay, he has to ask. Go behind my desk. Look at that bottom drawer. Uh, he, he has to ask. What does that do to you guys if you guys have already got the information down? If Bright's already got everything down that he needs, what does that do? What does it waste? Time. Yeah, it wastes time. It wastes time that Bright could have been working on his assignment already. You know, it's not Ogenesis' fault, but if he didn't get what he needed to get, he needs to get it, so he's going to stop, he's going to ask me. Okay? That's just how it's going to go. Now, this, you, you can't always stop a lecture, but you can stop a video. You can stop and rewind the video so you can hear what you need to again. And I'll show you here. Wait, is this going to be from our own computers? It can be. Okay. There's our Edmodo site. I loaded some things up yesterday. Okay? Yesterday evening. This is how the post will show. Okay? So when you log on to Edmodo, you're going to go to your 8th grade class, which is already going to be there. Okay? That's your default. So you're going to go there, and then what you're going to do is you're going to look and see the group posts. Okay, and here it is. This is what will show up either either in the post, like the note, or the assignment tab. Okay, everybody see the assignment tab? For me, that's where I load the assignments. For you guys, that's probably where you're gonna go and click and find this. Okay, what does it say? Somebody. Videos below. Take notes on the information. Pay attention to the process of turning, repeating decimals to fractions. We will do this in class. Okay. <coughs> the reason I put this on there is because if you do log on tonight or something or you need to rewatch the videos or whatever, don't freak out and if anybody asks, you know, and says, well, is that homework or whatever, then that way it's right there, okay? It also gives you a due date. What's the due date? September 7th. Okay, September 7th. So that's Sunday, all right? So by the end of Sunday, it's supposed to be due. And that's just because next week we'll move on to something else. All right, so we're going to go over this. I have two videos that are on here, okay? One about converting fractions to decimals, another one about converting fractions to decimals. We're going to watch both of them, all right? And I'm going to stop them so you can get the idea how to do these notes. Take a look at your notes page, though. It's very different from, the, from what it was last year. Take a look at it. Pearsall, what's it say on the left-hand side? Underneath your name. Watch the lesson, take notes, using the formula, stop the line, and rewind. Okay. Right. I'm glad you put your name on there. You too, Ogenis. Ogenis, what's number two say? Finish notes on your own for the following day's class as a part of participation grade. Okay. This means that when you walk into class, you should have these notes all ready to go. Okay? As much as you can take. All right? It's however you will be able to take notes. Okay? And like I said, for the next, for this week and next week, we're going to do this together so you get an idea. All right? But... I want you to be able to rely on yourselves to be able to take notes. If something's important to Bright, if it's like an important vocabulary word, where's Bright, where are you going to put that, Bright? Where do, where, do you, where do you put that on the notes page? Okay, what, what's the title? Where does it say that you should put that? You got to read the title, that's what I want you to do. Okay. Okay, so read it. Okay, so main ideas and vocabulary. If he has some important words that he needs to either look up or he needs to get a definition on, then he can put them there. And he can stop and rewind the video until he either gets the definition or something else, okay? Now, what about notes and examples? Where does that go? Here's all, where does that go? 
Like, it, like if it's a specific problem that uh, that I want done or that you have trouble with, where would that go? Would that go under main ideas and vocab or where? Notes and okay, notes and examples. So you can put examples and such things there, okay, that will help you out so that you remember that stuff. You can also use the back page of this, okay? The back's blank, so there's plenty of room. So if you run out of room there, you can do that. The bottom, oh, Janice, what is the bottom? Little title say in that box. Summary and questions. All right, <laughs> summary and questions. What do you think that's for? <coughs> right. Summary and questions. So does that mean summarizing questions. the uh, the notes and then questions. questions that you make up and that we write down. Ooh. Okay. Another idea. What do you think? Uh, the like summary is like like some of the questions are like the questions that you have about it. That I have about no, it or like that you have. have? Okay, you're close on the questions. Yes, that's what I wanted to use for. I will say that you have to, and I didn't type it in here, but I, usually you will have to have one specific question about the lesson. Now, if it's really something that you didn't get, or not get, but if it's really something that you understood, you were really good with it, okay, then at least a summary of what it was. That's what it's got to be, okay? I know there may be questions that come up in class. That's what the review and discussion part is for, all right? But we're going to go and we're going to do this real quick. Um, I want to watch it once, okay? I want you to take. I want you to take as many notes as you can on this, whether you know it or not, okay? I want you to take as many notes as you can. We're going to watch this first one. So should we write this down? What should we write down? Tell me. What should we write down? <coughs> okay, that's a specific example, right? Is there a title or something that we could write down, like a main idea? Mm -hmm. What's the main idea? Hey, there you go. There we go. It's even right at the top there. That, uh, so that video, so maybe that's what we need to write down. So go ahead and write that down. That's what I want you to do. Put that in, in the main ideas or the vocab, or main ideas and vocab. That's where it needs to go, okay? That's where it would go. Main idea? Oh. Yeah, that would be the main idea, converting for, and converting decimals into fractions. That's where I want to put it. Now, if you already know, this is uh, this is the benefit to this. We can, you can look at it, you can talk about it, you can you can rewind it. And since Boger didn't hear a lot of what we were doing, I can rewind this last 15 seconds, and then we can watch it again. Now, this right here, what's the example that we're doing? We're converting what? Decimals. Okay, what are we converting? Zero, uh, point, point zero, okay, you think that's probably important to write down? Where would that go, right? Where would that go if this, if we're converting? And Condi said it earlier, and Pearsall just said it. We're converting that number into a fraction. Okay, let's write that down. Let's at least start writing that down in notes and examples. Okay. <coughs> I got the volume turned up now, so I'm gonna rewind just a little bit. Last seven is in the ten thousands place. Ten thousands. 
So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. The way I like to think of this, this term right over here in the 10,000th place, we can view this whole thing right over here, 727 ten thousandths, because this is the smallest term or the, the smallest place right over here. So let's just rewrite it. This is 727 over ten thousand. Over ten thousand. And we've already written it as a fraction, and I think that's about as simplified as we could get. This number up here is not divisible by 2, it's not divisible by 5. In fact, it's not divisible by 3, which means it would be divisible by 6 or 9. Okay, everybody hear what he said? Yeah. What do you say? You can't um, simplify it. Because it's what? Because it's not, not divisible. Not divisible? Not divisible anything. Why? What do you know about this already that it's not divisible? Seven's an odd number. Okay, seven's an odd number. What is this? The denominator. What's the denominator ending? Ten thousand. Okay, it's zero. ten thousand. What's it ending? Zero. Zero. So if it ends in zero and this ends in seven, there's nothing, right? We're sure of that. Sure of that? Mm -hmm. Will I bet your life on it? Okay, good. So that's it. Um, I'm looking around. I like the uh, I like the notes that they put uh, that you guys put on some of those things, especially where it says ten thousandths and all that stuff. You're looking at the place value, so that's good. All right. We'll finish this up here. Look to see if it seem to be divisible by seven. It might be a prime number. I think we are done. Okay. Now at that point, if you didn't get something, what can I do now? If rewind you're watching this on your own. Rewind it. Okay, we're going to rewind it if we needed to watch it again. Anybody feel like we need to rewind this right now? No. No? Anything? Anybody? Now's the time to ask. Okay. All right, good. Could I summarize part of this already? Yes. Okay. I want you to do that right now on your own, where it says summary and questions. Don't take up the whole thing because we got another video to watch. All right. Don't take up the whole thing because you got a whole other video to watch. But go ahead and under the summary and questions, I want you to summarize it. Okay. Or have a question about it. One of the two. Okay. That needs to be on there. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes to do that while I load this next video.